Hi all, we recently released a new version of VoxWav Pro and I'll show you a few of the new things about it. This is more of a demo than a tutorial but you might still learn a few things and if you don't know what VoxWav is, it's used f as a microphone for Vox Commando so you can go and Google that. So here we have this running for the first time we have um, on the phone you see three icons here there's actually we have five icons in the menu but on the phone they don't all fit so then you would use the um, application button or whatever this is called to get the extra items if you have a large screen um, like on a tablet then you may see all of these items here so full exit is not really required it's just if you want to exit the app completely uh, in order to restart it, you can use that. It's, it would be the equivalent of going into your um, running apps and, and removing it from the list of currently running apps. The first thing that you'll need uh, if you haven't used VoxWav before, or if you've just installed it, is this little radio tower icon is the hello. And it will find any instances of Vox Commando that are running on your local network. So it found a host, and it and this this is showing me the hosts that are currently active on my network. So these are uh, the IP addresses of computers that are running Vox Commando. Now, once you've done that, um, at any time you can select this icon, which is supposed to be the icon of a, a computer on a network cable here, and you'll have a list of any computers that have been found in the past and these will also have the MAC address so it will attempt to wake, use wake on LAN to wake these computers if they're not running. So I want to use this one. And um, one of the other things that we've changed on the latest version is that when you use the tilt button it hides these buttons down here because you don't need them if you're using tilt. And I've also added an option to hide these upper buttons because uh, once you've got everything configured the way you want, you may not want them. And especially uh, with the idea of running this on a watch, we want to save as much room on the screen as possible. So to hide these upper buttons, you do a left swipe. And to bring them back, you do a right swipe. So if you're also running in tilt mode, You basically got a clean slate there, and you can give commands by tilting. Pay attention. Yes. Play artist James. Playing, Playing artist, artist James. James. And now you can see that you've got uh, all of this screen real estate is available for your alternates. James Brown. Okay, it's not doing anything because I don't have Media Monkey running right now. Listen to music. Who is this? music stop so I'll bring these buttons back here another thing that I've done if you if you're wearing a watch or even if you're just holding this in your hand and you and you want to work it with the screen off with tilt you can usually do this you need to change a few things in your settings so this is the icon this wrench represents our settings I tried to make small icons and remove text so that we'd be able to access these items easily on things like Watch or on Google Glass. So under application settings now, this is not new, but if you wanted to run uh, on some devices with the screen off, you'll want to check this, keep alive when screen is off. Uh, we have, this is also not new, but override hardware 
buttons allows you to, uh, when you press the volume buttons on your phone, rather than adjusting the volume on your phone, it sends messages to Vox Commando, which you can use to control the, well, you can, they, they, they trigger events, basically, that you can use to control your amp or your system volume or whatever you want to do. And this is new, relatively new. Here is the tilt angle threshold. And here you would set this to uh, a number. The closer it is to zero, the, clo the more vertical the phone will need to be. So if you hold the phone up like this, the Z value is zero. And as you um, lower it, the Z value goes up. I'm not sure what the maximum value is, 10 or 12 or something. So uh, if you wanted to make tilt easier to turn on, you would in increase this number, and if you wanted to make it only when you were very, very close to vertical, you would decrease this number. So you can customize that now. Um, and we have here this uh, vibrate vibrate after the time li limit has elapsed. This will actually enable haptic feedback uh, in any case, so that when you're using tilt, it'll give you one short little vibrate when the microphone turns on, and two little short vibrates when it turns off. So if you're working with the screen off, this not only makes it easier to know uh, when when you're successfully tilting the, the device, it also is sort of a good reminder if you've forgotten that it's running, you'll be getting a little buzz when the mic turns on and off. And that pretty much covers the new stuff. We have a, a always on button here as well. This isn't really new, this is new from the last version. So this is listening now and of course in order for this to work it needs to detect um, when you're talking above a certain threshold it'll start recording and then when it detects silence it will stop recording. What time is it? What time is it? Time is it? Time is it? What's it like out there? And again, so here we have only three buttons. If you wanted to go look at your common phrases, you would do it down using this application or settings button, whatever it's called. And then you would have access to your extra menu items like the common phrases button or the full exit button. Thanks for watching.